The babies have gotten to the camera shot age. I know, but you were being so cute. Come here. Crispin was laying on his back and I was petting his belly and giving him belly kisses. But the minute I turned the camera on, hello, the bug. What's he doing? He got shy. And they kind of all go through this phase. It's kind of weird how they know something is different about the camera. Are you going to play with your toy? Okay. Yeah. So I make a morning. And then we have Miss Lisa who just ate her breakfast. Did you just eat your breakfast? Yes, you did. Yes, I know. Tell me. Oh, Miss Lisa is going through a growth spurt, I think. Because she doesn't have the big poofy belly. But she weighs more today than yesterday. <laughs> oh. What? Did I, did I ignore you? Oh, okay. Let's play that game. Okay. And then say hello, Panda. I know Mama kicked you out of your spot, didn't she? Yes, she did. Mama kicked Panda out of the window seat. And then Harris. Hi. Hi. And Pat is in with Jericho. <laughs> who is still choosing to sleep in the bathroom. Will come out and play and eat. And, but just has chosen to. One of the reasons I think it is. Is Jericho has a really thick coat. Um, I don't know. It's kind of odd. He almost has like the, or she almost has like the undercoat, you know, that some cats have. And the tile floor in the bathroom is like some kind of slate. So it's cool. And I do see Jericho laying kind of like spread out on it all the time. Um, and it is warm in here. I know I have a sweatshirt on. Um, because it's kind of, it's chilly outside, but in the house, it is kind of warm. I mean, I would bet it's 75, 80 degrees in here. This, in the morning time, um, the two windows, this one in the bathroom, they get full sun. And it, it does get hot in here, doesn't it? I was cleaning yesterday morning, and it was hot. So maybe that's it. I don't know, because I do notice it's during the daytime. At nighttime, Jericho's out here more. Where are you going? Okay. Well, we've got lots of stuff going on today, don't we? Yes. Yes. And it's kind of secrets. But, mm. So, we're going to... Oh, are you going to get cute now? They've already had their morning play session. I missed filming it, sorry. So, it's really nap time. Yes, isn't it? Are you just adorable? Yes, you are. Look at those whiskers, those eyebrow whiskers. Here, hold on. Hey, show me your eyebrow whiskers. I think I called it. Crispin was like on top of that basket like a crazy person. Hey. Are you a crazy person? I think you are. I'm gonna miss these baskets. That's the very last one. I had four of different sizes of these that I actually had used. I had them before I ever started doing kittens. I used them for like house organization, but the kittens and the cats love them so much. And this is my last one. And I do not even remember where I got them. And I've looked for equivalents, but I don't know. I haven't really found them. I did buy that basket over the weekend. And they, oh, they like it, but not as much. Oh, did you come down? Are you working on it? I want to show everybody. I'm not sure I've gotten on film. 
how you get down. It's really cool because he gets, okay, he, co he goes up on this one and then he likes to lay there, but he comes down. He can't figure out how to get down yet this way. So like if he's in this basket, he still goes up and around and he comes down here and he comes down here and then he goes from here. Here, come on, here, come on. Look, here, here's a toy. You wanna come play with it? Show everybody how you get down. down the way you normally get down if he just jumps down that is not how he normally gets down oh of course he is oh well, maybe not normally oh he's gonna do it I think oh Harris that's not how you get down hopefully I've caught it on camera I probably have he normally goes from there to there he'll jump from this one to this one and then he'll plop down It is mail time once again and this time I actually don't have anything to say or tell you before I start <laughs> so we're gonna get right to it uh, the first set of gifts is from Mike it says Callie who is purring on my chest sends her best wishes from Mike Hamilton uh, thank you Callie and Mike and give Callie a big old pets from me um, Mike sent over so excited about this a bag of the blue wilderness kitten chicken uh, formula uh, that's actually why I'm filming I need to open this bag <laughs> and then he sent a catch the mouse motion cat toy um, actually uh, Fig and Grace and Baron had one of these uh, and they loved it and I had forgotten all about it, and I, I guess it popped up or I saw it or something, and I added it to my wish list because uh, little kittens really, really, really like these. The bigger cats, because mm, it's a small toy, but um, the little kittens love this thing. He also sent a box of the Poultry and Beef Classic Pate Fancy Feast and a box of the Poultry and Beef Grilled Collection. Um, yeah. Uh, we have right now, I'm not sure when this will go up, but we have several mama cats. We have kittens. Um, so food is going faster even than normal right now. He also sent a case of the seafood classic pate. And then in the bottom is a case of the poultry platter, uh, which Actually, it's really funny because now Blanca has decided that she really, really likes uh, the poultry platter. And well, actually, it took me a minute to figure out what she was doing. Um, but when I would come in, she would kind of yip at me um, and go to the food plate. 
And I thought it was because she wanted KMR because she really loves KMR, but she can't have a lot because it upsets her tummy. Uh, and uh, fa figured out she wants the fancy piece. I mean, she figured out she wants uh, the poultry platter. Uh, it took me a minute, <laughs> but I figured it out. So thank you, Mike, uh, for the food. As you know, uh, we're always in need and it is wonderful. Thank you. And the next set is from Jan. And I really think it, it, it didn't come with little slips. I just know because Jan sent me a message. Um, there is a box of Frisky's Extra Gravy Pate. Um, that box right there. That I believe is from her as well. That's not in here. Um, but it came in a separate box. I'm not sure, but I'm pretty sure. Uh, and Jan sent over a case of the Seafood Grilled Fancy Feast and a case of the Poultry and Beef Grilled, uh, which <laughs> plundered those too. Um, but, you know, they're staples and favorites. And then she sent a case of KMR, which is really wonderful. We have lots of babies right now. And I know the babies have moms. Well, Sarah doesn't. Um, Sarah still drinks KMR uh, in a bottle a million times a day. <laughs> Not really, but it feels like it some days. Uh, but, um, you know, as you know, every, you know, sometimes you, even when they have mamas, you have to supplement. Mamas need some of the KMR. Uh, I give meat milk to all the moms, um, which is KMR and the food mixed together. It really helps them to be able to keep feeding the babies. So that is wonderful. And underneath is a case of the poultry platter uh, as well. I know this sounds silly, but KMR is really heavy. <laughs> I don't know why. So I didn't lift, I was like, I'm not lifting it because eventually, because I have to put it away and I was like, I'm not doing it twice. So just know there is um, a case of the poultry platter underneath. And Jan also sent over this Go Pet Club uh, cat tree. It is huge. Uh, I really wanted to have it put together by the time I filmed this, but I'm actually filming it earlier than I normally do. It normally takes me about, I know this sounds terrible, but I normally have everything at least like a week before I film uh, just because of my schedule, but I need a lot of the stuff in the boxes right now, so I'm filming it early. Uh, but I will film when I have it put together and in there because I'm so excited about it. So thank you, thank you, thank you, Jan, so much. I am so appreciative. The cats and the kittens will be so appreciative. But that's what it's gonna look like. It's huge. What? Say that again. Yeah, there you go. Tell everybody, say thank you. Well, most of this you don't actually eat, but you know. <laughs> Uh, the next set is from Carla, and it says, Hi, Community Cats. I sent this out of love. Hope the cat and kittens enjoy this gift from Carla Head. Uh, thank you, Carla. I really do appreciate it. And Carla sent over two cases, and Carla, see, this is how much we uh, love the food. <laughs> now, this has been here a bit longer. Um... But, it, you know, we do go through food fast. And Carla sent over a case of the Fancy Feast Delights with cheddar. Um, and one of the reasons it's already gone is this is a fave. Uh, we all know, I've said it a hundred times, they love cheese. Um, they love the cheddar. Any of the tuna, the chicken, the turkey, they don't care. If it has cheddar in it, they love it. And then there is a case of the Fancy Piece Poultry and Beef Pate. Uh, there are a couple cans left in this one. Ha ha, see? Um, but they do love it as well. Carla also sent over a case of the Friskies Extra Gravy Pate. Uh, food is always wonderful. Thank you, thank you so much, Carla, for uh, the food and supplies. It is wonderful. <coughs> Uh, excuse the dogs. There's nothing I can do about it. <laughs> um, the next set is from Debbie. It says, Hi, community. Enjoy your gift. Hope it helps with cleaning the kittens. From Debbie Learman. 
And Debbie sent over a pack of the Burt's Bees uh, dander wipes. Uh, she knows, I'm sure, as well as most of you. These are my favorite um, wipes. Besides the baby wipes. But the baby wipes I use on, like, bottoms and, like, snotty noses and that kind of thing. These I use to actually help keep the kittens clean and refreshed, you know, all over. Um, and I love them. I love the way they smell. I love the texture and the way they actually clean. Um, wonderful. So, I really would look into these if you uh, have messy cats and kittens. <clears throat> she also sent over a $25 Petco gift card, which I love uh, because, as we all know, I used all the ones I had previously um, to try out different foods. Um, I, I, I didn't find, I tried several brands, um, didn't find any that I really liked more than what I'm using now. Um, and there was really none uh, price compatible, I guess you would say. You know, I'm sure there's way better foods, but, you know, they come with the much heavier price tag. So, um, I'm really excited to see this. Um, this is the last thing I was a little bit unsure of. Uh, it did not have a note at all, and it just came in this little box. Um, it came at the same time. I'm pretty sure they're from Debbie. Uh, not 100%, but pretty sure, but let me tell you. Uh, I don't want to go on and on about them. Uh, I don't want to go on and on about them because I don't want this to be 100 years long, but these are wonderful. Just know, uh, they're, they're, they're great. Um, everyone loves these and they're the fancy feast appetizers uh this this flavor is steamed wild alaskan salmon uh i will say they look and smell exactly like the salmon i cook well they probably actually taste better than the salmon i cook um i didn't taste them so i don't know but uh, i i'm pretty sure but i'm telling you I, I really think that this is just like just pure salmon dumped in a little plastic container. Um, they're actually, I've saved, there's a couple left. Yeah, there's a couple left, and this is what they look like on, on the inside. And let me tell you, they go insane. They love these things. So, thank you, Debbie, um, for your, so thank you, Debbie, for your supplies and gifts. Uh, you know, I really, really appreciate it. Here. Hmm. Little Miss Ma'am has lots of energy today, and so she is very playful, but the other one only has like little bits of spurts of energy, and um, so it's kind of tricky because I have to distract this one. Yes. Uh-huh. It's a, yeah. Are you bothering her? Yeah. But she's not quite old enough to get toys or something. Or she's just really not playing with toys that much. So she's just kind of, you know, doing the jumping around, running around thing. Yeah. 